Attention, prepare for turbulence. I saw these people running, talking about, hey, lady, stop, stop, you, you with the big hair. Isis Brantley is a Dallas hairdresser who counts singer Erica Badu among her clients and specializes in natural hair. So naturally, she's been growing hers for 20 years. I said, what's the problem? And he said, um, we have to check your hair for explosives. I said, you're kidding me. She had already been through security, but when TSA agents said, submit to a hair search or miss your flight, Isis submitted. She started digging around in my hair several times, just touching it and digging, and I said, find the explosives. Do you see any? Now, most folks don't like their hair being touched Oops. by strangers. <laughs> Take the undercover brother. You mess with the fruit. You got to go. Isis got so upset, she cried. This is humiliating and embarrassing. Will you grant, though, that because you're, there's so much of your hair, you actually could be hiding something in it? Was Dolly Parton hiding something in her hair? Does, uh, was Cher hiding something in her hair? Do they search Howard Stern or Snooky? Something could definitely fit in Snooky's bun. Weapons? Explosives? I can't even hide my ears under my hair. At least I fit through the door. Unlike OJ and his oversized afro and naked gun 33 and a third. So what does ISIS want from the TSA? A public apology. But the TSA says this passenger left the checkpoint prior to the completion of the screening process and was offered but refused private screening. That's fabricated. <laughs> but this isn't. Even Dugas, big as a disco ball hair, is in the Guinness Book for the largest natural afro in the world. We don't know whether her hair has ever been searched at the airport, but we do know she says it makes for the perfect pillow. Great for those long-distance flights. Can you just kind of flounce your hair a little? Genie mode. Hey, I'll put my hair. CNN.